I want to do a quick video on how to use the adjustable ER nuts uh, because I do have a short video but it's actually old and kind of terrible so we'll do one and we'll we'll simplify it and here's how it works so just to give you an example uh, this is a carbide grinding point this is an ER25 adjustable nut uh, this dial indicator is one hash mark is 50 millionths, and we'll check out the runout right here. So that's the runout we're getting. That's between mm, 10 and maybe 20 millionths of an inch runout right there. So pretty phenomenal. It does take a little bit of practice to learn how to use this to get familiar with it. But here's how to do it. So what you'll do is, is you, as you move, move this around, you'll see there are different set screws, and you will screw those set screws in to adjust the runout. Now you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm recording this real quick and kind of dirty with my phone, and you might see this go in and out of focus. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, uh, what you'll do is you'll notice over here on the indicator that it's going to obviously go back and forth, right? So you want to determine what is the farthest this needle moves clockwise. And once you find, you're rotating this, okay, and you find what angle moves this the most clockwise, that's the screw that you need to start adjusting. So screw this in until you just start to make contact with the collet. And don't hammer, don't let I me mean, really screw down hard on this thing just until it starts to make contact. Put a little teeny bit of pressure on it and then rotate it again and see where you're at. And so each time that you get, you know, this will start to get uh, less and less and less. Now it shouldn't go, when it, once it reaches its maximum going counterclockwise, that's as far as it should ever go. You should only be adjusting it out based on how far it goes out clockwise. And you keep trying to get it to move counterclockwise until it zeroes um, just like this so as you can see this is pretty zeroed out and in fact I would let's move in here real close yeah that's almost hard to even measure yeah I'd say you're probably one ten millionths run out right there so that's how you do it the key here with this is don't go wrenching down on these very hard only turn these in to just start to make contact and the only ones that you really need to adjust are when this dial indicator it sweeps all the way out as far to you know clockwise as possible you're trying to get it to when this says it's way out clockwise you want to crank this in which will move it a little teeny bit counterclockwise but again only little bits at a time and if you're interested in this this is attached to a, a ER25 Glock CNC headstock. These headstocks, as well as the adjustable nut, is available at GlockCNC.com.